Hey folks, Edge 4006 here doing a product review. Today's product going to be reviewing is uh, inside the Wavespan hybrid holster from Keyhole Holsters. This is the Nano Wrap It On Off hybrid holster for a Glock 26, Glock 27, basically your baby Glock series. This pistol was safety checked before we started the video, so we are good to go. All right, I want to talk about Keyhole Holsters a little bit. Uh, I reviewed a holster from them about a year ago. That holster is still standing strong. It's one of my favorite holsters. Um, for my Glock 26 to carry. It's a full size inside the waistband holster similar to this design, but larger uh, Very comfortable holster and like I said, it's 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 still doing extremely well uh, Awesome quality and products. The gentleman who owns this uh, uh, business is a veteran um, You know uh, all USA made everything's um, pretty much handmade by him uh, and he does an exceptional job um, I can really tell when I look at his stuff that he just you know, the, the attention to detail is outstanding. I've never seen any like minute imperfections in, in like just the fit, you know, the edges, the way the leather comes together. It's like he's really, you know, just kind of in the zone when he's making these holsters. And um, I haven't said that about other people's holsters. I mean, I, I've seen some really good stuff, but I, that's this one I can just kind of tell looking at it. Like, what was he thinking when he did this? And I was like, yeah, he must have been really, really, you know, just phew, eyeballing it. And, uh, and you know just making sure that the product is is the best he could put his you know he, he could produce so he could put his name on it okay well let's go into the further details of the design of this holster as you can see real nice retention even though we have leather on the back here and kydex on the front usually when you have kydex and kydex you get that nice snap you're still getting a really good snap it takes a little while for this leather um, to uh, to form to your body. You gotta wear it, I'd say at least maybe a week or so to, for it to really kind of start to fit and mold to, to where you're gonna carry it. Uh, get a good idea where you wanna carry it, leave it there and it grows. This um, stitching is real nice. You can get in a variation of colors that he has available. Um, the black, red on black, so that's been one of my favorites, kind of part of the channel logo too. And Initially, I did have this was rubbing just a little bit, but within two days it went away. I didn't feel it anymore um, He's using English bridal leather. Um, I didn't understand last time when I did my last review um, I just thought he treated all treated the leather he does but and dyes it But on top of that the leather he chooses is very soft It's high quality leather and that makes the biggest difference on how it feels against the body and at a price point that he that he sells these things It's just a deal altogether. Um, you see the front of the holster. Let me go ahead and move the pistol here. Um, real nice leather, the stitching. I mean, it just really brings out. This is this is definitely going to help with the holster, you know, wear and tear down the road. But it looks cool too. I mean, you can't help but the cool factor. And when you're checking out the options on his um, holsters when you're on the website. You'll you'll be like, wow, I want to do this, want to do that. There's some really cool, interesting color um, combinations you can do. The unfortunately, um, some I think are too flashy because this is a concealment holster. That's why I went with black on black with just the red outlining. You know, I had to do that. But uh, there's some cool ones that look really neat when it's all, it's red. It's red carbon fiber on this, and it looks pretty sick. But again, it's just a little flashy. I'm trying to keep this to where it's concealed, obviously not. So I'm like, hey, look at the holster. But hey, whatever floats your boat, right? They're using 0 0.080 kydex on the width of the, the material here. Really nice definition. The clip, rock hard, man. This is a solid clip. Again, when you slide it in there, initially it's gonna it's gonna be a little tight. You're gonna have to let it break in. Uh, wearing it as I you know wear it. Leave the whole leave the gun in the holster overnight, at least for the first three nights. And then also, you know, just wear it. Wear it in. It's leather. That's what you got to do. You ever play baseball when you're a kid? I don't know what these kids these days, but when you played baseball back in the day, you had to break that glove in. And it's not like that, but that's a basic leather concept. You just got to break it in a little bit, and it starts to get smoother. Initially, the draw was a little tight. Now, it's pretty, pretty smooth. Really good retention. This sucker is not coming out. You can tug on it all you want to. You got to give it a nice little pull there. To get it to slide right out nice cut here for the axis for the sights that front sight to clear you're not the back the rear sight's not going to touch but the nice channel for if you got some oversized sights that's definitely going to clear it you can see right there where it's definitely taking shape with the pistol i've been carrying this for about two and a half months 
um, and it's one of my favorite. Right now, it's my favorite inside the waistband holster for a the Glock 26. I'm definitely ordering one for my Glock 19. I'm probably gonna pick up a different uh, different color configuration, maybe go something more natural. But uh, it combines functionality with really cool looks, and I like that because there's some holsters sometimes where you get they're very cool looking, but the function. The functional aspect of it doesn't exactly work out for you and vice versa they're very functional but they're ugly and this i think is the best of both worlds one of the main concepts of the design of this holster again is to be able to wear it comfortably inside the waistband and rapidly remove it take it off slip it off you got a good gun belt just pull that back pull up and put it in your secure box in your car or however you decide to go ahead and transport it and uh, you got to go you know run an errand where they don't allow to carry a gun uh, post office whatnot you can remove this you know rather quickly and uh, the other part is to make it extremely comfortable to wear they've achieved both of those goals this design i've been i've been i've reviewed a couple holsters with a similar design it's becoming uh, very popular with some holster manufacturers um, the gentleman who owns this place he's been doing it for a while now um, making this holster um, but it's a very popular design it's starting to grow on me because it's very comfortable to wear in the past, when um, I've seen the hybrid holsters, they're always, you know, the larger size with two either J-hooks or over-the-belt hooks that would clasp on and would and would make contacts, and, you know, roughly around eight or nine inches apart from each other, um, maybe seven inches. And uh, they were good systems, uh, but, at, you know, at the time, you know, because they wanted to spread the weight out of a full-size pistol. But now with this kind of design... Um, you're able to do that with these clips and, you know, it's, I guess, advancement in, in, in media and technology. That you're able to do the same job with one clip and a sturdy gun belt. All right, let's talk about philosophy of use on this holster. Um, this holster is obviously designed for inside the waistband for concealment. On the website, the um, designer and the owner of this, this business does uh, stipulate that you can use this for tactical and uh, you know, uh, as a tactical holster and a range holster. Sure, you could. Uh, I, I can see that. Uh, me personally, I would keep it inside the waistband uh, concealment. That's just me. That's my opinion. But I can see other people using this and multitasking with it. Um, it has a, I think it has that kind of flexibility. This holster was designed to wear around a four o'clock, maybe five o'clock position. Um, you know, you can maybe do three, but it wasn't designed for appendix. You can try it, but I don't think it's it's going to really work out. Um, uh, I mean, it's it the cant on it. I have the fifteen degree cant. You know, that's where, you know, that's the, that's for going further back, not so much uh, near the appendix. But that was my choice when I ordered it. You can also get it as a, you know, the cant straight up. Uh, if you wish to have it that way, I wear, like, again, I wear this holster around the 4 o'clock position. So I do need that cant to be able to get a better draw and better grip on the purchase on the holster. All right, folks, well, let me show you a video where I am drawing the holster and reseating it. All right, folks, uh, I'm going to show you this holster, how it presents, and also uh, how it receipts. Uh, this is a keyhole holsters. Uh, this holster is the Nano for the Glock 26. First, I'm going to show you. I um, have it on me. I'm my pistol on me as well, Glock 26. And uh, let's see if you can see it. I'm just going to do a little quick, small spin for you. And um, I don't believe you're you're able to see where it, you know, it prints because it is a very nice concealable holster inside the waistband. But let me show where I have it on my on me. And it's tucked real tight. This is a hybrid holster, the design, leather with kydex um, riveted onto it, or actually not riveted, uh, but uh, screwed onto it, and um, it's a real, what I like about it over the previous designs, it's real small, uh, hence the nano uh, terminology, or the name of the holster, it, it's, it's just exactly, as mu it only, as mu only as much leather as you need to conceal it, no extra. And uh, I think that's really cool. The clip really locks down, man. This is a solid rock hard clip that does not want to let go. To remove this, you know, I'm on a car, getting to work, you have to take it off. I have to really kind of pull up on it and give it a nudge to get it off. But it's locked on there. So let me show you how it's going to present. The combination of um, 
materials being used. One, the leather form fitting to your body, obviously from wearing it. Um, two, the friction that you're getting from, you know, it's minimal, but enough to cause, you know, stability. So this holster doesn't move around, doesn't go anywhere. Uh, th three, the Kydex, you're getting a nice, nice, you hear that click. It's not as loud or snappy as, you know, standard Kydex on Kydex, but that once, once it forms and it gets fitted in there and, uh, it, it's it's really really locked in there to where it's just just tight enough to be comfortable tight enough to where you're comfortable drawing it but also receding it it's it's giving you that acknowledgement of uh that it's secure and it's not going anywhere and then that clip is also really locking it down i mean it's just a really really good uh, engineering as far as the design everything comes together it's a real nice package let me also show you um again access to the grip this new design uh, really lets you get a full purchase. You're getting, you know, a nice grip on the gun and very easy access to what to draw it and to recede it. So really nice design there on that cut. Okay, let's talk about the options for this holster. Uh, there is a multitude of colors you can get on the leather, uh, black, brown. Just go to the website for sure. Check it out, www.keyholeholsters.com and you'll see the different pattern designs um, that he has from uh, carbon fiber to some uh, digicamo patterns, uh, some of the newer Cryptek patterns. Really, really cool selection. Definitely go check it out. There is a great amount of subcompact and uh, compact pistols that you have to choose from for this line of holster. Uh, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I'm almost certain that you're gonna find the pistol that you're looking for there. The stitching color, there's multiple colors to pick from. Um, black red natural white um, check it out for sure um, I mean I decided to go with the compliment you know the black I like red and black because combination is part of my channel logo and I just thought it was a real neat pattern the last holster I ordered from them um, about a year ago I got the black on black which looked really neat when you're placing an order for a holster go to the FAQ area frequently asked questions and you can find the current lead time um, if you're concerned um, it's usually pretty good and uh, he, he, he gets them out pretty quick Hey folks, I also want to mention that when you're placing an order for this holster, make sure to use the discount code of EDGE, capital E-D-G-E, and you'll get 10% off and free shipping. Alright folks, well I'm going to definitely recommend this product, give it a thumbs up. He's, this channel makes awesome quality products. Um, go to the website, check it out, I'm almost certain you can find something you like. Um, and when you order it, you're definitely not going to be disappointed. This gentleman also has an Instagram. Uh, page where he displays all his work He's, as he produces a new holster for somebody he puts a picture of it up real cool if well folks if you liked the video i'd appreciate you hit the like button there and, and turn, give it a thumbs up if uh you can share with your fellow youtubers also much obliged and uh if you're not a subscriber please subscribe we'll get our latest videos and product reviews out to you well then folks edge 4006 signing out fight to good fight and keep your goops tight brother